Hello guys, welcome to another tutorial. So someone sent this holder block to me and to start, um, just start a new part file and the unit is an inch and the first thing you see is that this part is symmetric on all sides so and they are telling us that this is the front plane. So to know where to start, we are just going to start by drawing the block. So click on sketch and it brings up all your planes and since we are drawing the block we are going to start the block from here so from this center plane so which is the right plane click on the right plane and let's just draw a center rectangle something like that and let's add our dimension at the bottom it is going to be 2.8 and on the side it is going to be 2.44 which is right here and click OK and we are going to extrude this time let's extrude it by the mid plane and we are going to extrude it um, it is going to be 2.8 so 2.8 and click OK so we have our block uh, we have our block over here. This is our front plane and this is our right side. So the next thing we can do is cut this um, cut this extrude cut on this side. So select your rights on your front. Sketch, normal 2. And we're just going to draw a corner rectangle. Something like that then we add our dimensions it is 0.4 going up so from the bottom up is 0.4 so we have something like that then now we can go to feature extrude not extrude extrude cuts and we are going to be extrude cutting it 0.4 so we're going to type in 0.4 click ok then what we will do is mirror this to the other side so it is 0.4 on each side so select your mirror and we are mirroring it about the front plane and features to mirror will select this so and click ok so we've mirrored it and we have that the next thing we are going to do is cut this for that you can just use the chamfer so you have chamfer select your chamfer and that is a di angle distance so you have the distance and the angle so the angle is 45 the distance is 0.8 so we're typing 0.8 in there and all we have to do is just click this back edge and click ok again if we go into our plane just to make sure we're doing things right and we select our front plane you can see everything is looking right so the next thing we want to do is cut this shape. So click this space and sketch. Normal 2. I'm just going to bring it over here. Uh, you just draw a line, just draw a rectangle. Something like this. Good. So now let's add our dimension. We know from the bottom to that edge, it is going to be 0.94 and the angle from the top to this face is 45 so we're going to add from here to here is 45 so our sketch is fully defined and that's what it looks like we go to feature extrude cut and we are going to extrude cut up to next and click ok good so the last thing we are going to do is draw our hole so on this space, select this space, sketch, normal 2, going to move it over here, and let's just draw a circle. And the, you know the height of the circle from this edge to the center of the circle is 1. And the dimension from the edge to the center of that circle is going to be one as well 
So then we can add our dimension to the circle, which is 1.5. So what this means is is a true hole, meaning that this hole is going through this part, and is is a true hole that is perpendicular to face A. So this is face A, and we've made it perpendicular to it, and it's going through everything. So now once we're done, we can go to our feature, extrude cut our hole, and we can select up to next and click OK. And that is how you make this block holder. It is very straightforward and simple. But I think when you see this sign that looks like the upside down T, that is just telling you that it is perpendicular to this face. So thank you and I hope you find it helpful and I will see you in the next tutorial. Bye.